welcome back to my channel today's video as you can see from the title this is going to be part of my moving series um this may be like six or seven i don't know but i'm going to put this with my moving series because i did just get new um what i'm going to use as nightstands for my bedroom we're going to be putting those together in this vlog i did also wanted to kind of go look at a couch hmm let's wait uh, i wanted to go look at a couch just because i don't know i want to go look at a couch i kind of want a new couch this is nothing that i'm going to get like tomorrow next month or whatever i just want to kind of like go browse around at a few locations uh -uh. i want to go browse around at a few locations and kind of get a scope of what's out there um i do i love a sectional but i kind of want to get something else but we'll see so if you're new here, hey, my name is Akira Janae. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave. So if you hear something, they in here playing with the toys, the dogs are. And then I also have my dryer going and my dishwasher. So sorry. But we're kind of going to be doing a lot of like apartment stuff in this vlog. So that's why I'm going to put it in my moving series because I am going to be putting together furniture and looking for furniture. And I do have some boxes to go through so just like the last vlog we're going to start off with some of the few things that i've been sent and that i picked up so this portion of the video is sponsored by ua or uah i'm not quite sure how you pronounce their name but this is sent over for prince and oreo actually which came at a wonderful time um i do have to give them both a bath I already ran their bath water well one of their bath waters so they sent me over two pet robes and then they also sent me over the forever clean um brush all the specific names will be the product name is forever clean yeah so their little brush i think this is super cute like literally it's been raining for the past four or five days and they need a bath real bad so i'm about to give them a bath because they've been out there in that dirt and i just cleaned my floors i just mopped did a deep clean off camera but that's besides the point so i'm going to use this today it is it's literally 11 12 at night <laughs> but i'm going to go ahead and give them a bath i already took them out twice so they should be good for tonight and then i'm just going to clean them up and get them ready for tomorrow because i won't be here all right, so this is how it looks. This is super cute. So you put the shampoo at the bottom. The max is 30 milliliters, and then you fill it up with water and then more water. So this is how it looks at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and put some shampoo and stuff in here. Um, it does run by battery. I looked that up, so not battery. It runs by charging, so they gave a little usb port and then if you pick this little tab up in the back it'll expose the little usb so i'm going to go ahead and like charge this because i don't know if it's charged or not and then i'm going to open the robes up real quick and see how those look i think it's so cute that after they get a little bath they'll be able to um put their little robe on you know on tiktok you can send all them bougie dogs them little bougie yorkies and stuff so my baby's about to be bougie okay so for the pet robes i decided to get a size small um prince is about 8.3 pounds and oreo is he last weighed in at 13 pounds but he's probably like 14 15 now probably definitely like 15. so hopefully these fit um he wasn't in the size range for a size medium um oreo is just he's bigger than prince and like he's longer so i think that's what may be a problem okay so we got it open i'm excited for this <laughs> it's cute i'm a little drawstring plastic baggie did i get yeah i got two size smalls Ugh. all right oh this is cute y'all know i have two designated like towels that i only use on both of them um, they're like beach towels so I think this is going to come in handy oh my gosh this is, I don't know if they had extra small or not because baby this is a size small this is definitely going to fit Oreo but this is going to be like 
a dress on Prince. <laughs> and I thought it was cute in time for Christmas to have little bitty reindeer antlers on there. And then it just says this on the back. And then I see it got three buttons right here so you can tighten it and adjust it. And then also right here, there's some buttons that you can adjust. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a bath first. And then we're gonna um, put their little, okay, yeah. So you button it like that. And then this goes over right here. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, all my dog moms out there, baby, you need this. This is the cutest thing ever. Okay, I can't wait to put this on now. <laughs> this is too cute. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the other one. And while I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let um, the little pet brush charge up a little bit. And then we're gonna get into bathing them because I am excited to use this and I can't wait to see them. And this little bitty cute bro, this is so precious. Oh my gosh. I wish they had an extra small. I don't think they asked me for extra small. I think they just said small, medium, large. So yeah, this is definitely gonna swallow Prince, but that's cool. He has more hair than Oreo right now, but I feel like this is gonna fit Oreo perfectly. And I like that it has buttons at the top and buttons around the stomach part because Oreo, he is extremely rough. So he'll be able to like literally shake this off of him. So I like that this is actually really, really secure. So I can't wait to put this on them. So let's get to bathing my babies and then. Okay, so here's another look at everything. I filled up the bottom of, I think it was like 200 milliliters with shampoo. Did go a little bit over, didn't know it would fill up that quick. And then after putting the shampoo in, I did go ahead and add some water, screw it back on, and there you go. And first, we're going to give Oreo a bath. This is my baby. <laughs> he is so big now, 16.2 pounds. So I do bathe them in the sink because I don't have anywhere else to bathe them. But I do thoroughly clean my sink after I'm done. You guys will see that in just a second. Um, I do like to go ahead and put a little bit of water on them just to kind of get their coat a little bit wet. Um, but prior to giving him a bath, I do actually comb him out and look how much foam comes out of here this thing is the best invention ever like there's so much foam it makes giving him a bath so much easier so yeah like i was saying it makes it so much easier um i get a better lather while using this and you can see how i'm kind of combing out his tail the soft bristles on the brush literally makes it so much easier to kind of detangle his fur because you know prince he's a morky and a um Yorkie and he is poodle and Havanese. So his hair is a lot more curlier than Prince. Prince hair is very straight, very fine. Whereas Oreo, he got that poodle mixed in with him. So he's just very, very, very curly. So having these extra soft bristles literally made this process so much easier. And since the foam is coming out, like it was just so much easier to like wash his ears, his face, his head. It just made it so much easier and so much faster so i really do like this thank y'all again for sending this over to me um y'all need to go cop this it is on sale right now um it's on sale for 59.99 i think that is a pretty good deal and then they also have you can save ten dollars if you spend over fifty dollars right now if you use the code pet gift 10 so i think that's a pretty good deal this little bitty invention top tier i will be using this from now on every time i give them a bath
Okay, next we have Prince. I did go ahead and wet his coat. He does use a prescribed shampoo right here from the um, veterinarian. So I did put this on him first and then I went in with the one that I already had put in this little pet brush. Um, Prince is more like, what is this? What you doing to me, mama? <laughs> Rather than Oreo. Oreo just kind of like, you know, all right, I'm just going to sit here. And Prince, he's kind of like, well, what the heck is this? <laughs> but since Prince is smaller, this kind of made it definitely a lot faster. And it was so much easier. And then after, you can see Prince, the robe is extremely big on him. It fits Oreo perfectly. So Prince, he was kind of like scared to move because he like, what is on me? <laughs> Prince, don't be going for none of that. He don't want nothing on him. But they're so cute. So, and it did dry them off really fast too. Okay, so I did want to include this in here because if you say you did something, then people really don't be thinking you did it. And I always clean up after I get my dogs a bath. So went in with a Lysol disinfectant, went in with the uh, Purpose Spray, and then I also went in with the um, Clorox disinfectant wipes. And yeah, everything's clean, sparkling, and disinfected. <laughs> wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I got from uh, where's this <laughs> Bath and Body Works I was about to say Bed Bath and Beyond hopefully all the stuff in the background ain't too loud I'm sorry I got a lot going on right now I woke up at like five o'clock so I got my day started at five and I did a lot of ripping and running when I got my nails done I wanted to mention these are my real nails girl get into it okay like who you know <laughs> it's just so cute i wanted the baby baby doll barbie bubblegum pink um i do got a tip on my thumb and a tip on this middle one just because those did crack my nails were longer than this but they've been like chipping off and stuff so get into what i got real quick my candles from candle day then we're going to get into um building all of this stuff so I only got four candles because I didn't want to go too crazy. I did just go to Bath and Body Works today to go pick up some more lip gloss because, baby, my lip gloss, this one is the kind that I keep in the car. So, literally, I was, like, squeezing it, trying to get this on my lips. One I just started to use, but this one has been the OG since high school. Like, the girlies, we've been on this since 2015, okay? At least I've been on this since 2015. So, I did get some more of that because I love the lip gloss, and I also love to use Fenty. And then... The candles that I got, I do have one burning right now. The one that I have burning is actually Cactus Blossom. And then I went and picked up Pink Watermelon. Never had this one before, but baby, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Obviously, it's not within the season, but girl, Pink Watermelon, fire. It smells amazing. Can't believe I've never had that one before. The next one that I wanted to show you guys, of course, is the classic Vanilla Bean Knoll we love that i'm gonna um start burning this closer to christmas to kind of get into that christmas spirit you see i got the tree behind me so yeah the next one that i got is flannel um i got this one because my best friend gave me the room spray in the scent flannel which i still actually i think i gave that to my boyfriend so i love that smell i love a good manly musk type of smell and this definitely gives that to me. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I like the men's scents and stuff. Like, and I use like men deodorant too sometimes. So I love the way men's stuff smell and their stuff tends to last a lot longer and it lingers. So it's like, you know, if you walk past a man, like you are gonna smell them from a mile away, depending on what they have on. So I did wanna get this. The spray is really strong. So I hope the candle isn't too strong. Like the room spray is very strong, but 
I hope this isn't too strong, but definitely, I know if I like that, let's say in the living room, I'm gonna smell it throughout my entire house. So those are my candles that I got. Like I said, I'm burning cactus blossom right now. And I, I don't know if I showed y'all this or not, but I also picked this up, um, this anti-car locking device. I'm gonna try this out tomorrow, but I bought this when I bought my um, little security door stopper that was in my last vlog. If you watched that, if not, go watch it. But I'm gonna try this out too. All right, now we can get to the fun part is putting together both of these. Like I said, I got them from Amazon. They're regular like 70 something dollars each, but I got them on sale on Cyber Monday or Black Friday for 60 something dollars. Yeah. And I got two of them obviously to put one on either side of my bed. officially confused <laughs> this is so simple but yet so stupid okay so this one is flat right okay you got holes on the side the holes on the side are it why are they at the back because this isn't supposed to well maybe this is the back okay you know what it's this way and then this one has holes right here. I'm so confused. Screw A into front panel. Then connect back panel. Okay, so y'all know me. I always go look at the picture because this shit is confusing. Whoever in the review said it takes 10, 15 minutes, you lied. <laughs> because it doesn't. This is confusing. The piece in the middle is confusing. So this is how it's supposed to look right here. So I'm trying to figure this out. This piece goes down this way. Uh, did I put this shit on backwards? That's why it's confusing. I got one of these. <laughs> I got one of these on the wrong way, so the holes are not lining up. That's what's getting me, because this is supposed to go in there like this. Who's already? Okay, after like 10 minutes, I think I'm actually figuring out how to do this. These instructions are so stupid. It's crazy because people always complain about IKEA instructions, but honey, I be putting together IKEA stuff in like 10, 15 minutes, you know? <laughs> this with words and stuff, it's making it so much harder. Like, I don't know. I feel like Ikea stuff is so much easier. <sighs> so twist A into panel four, cool. Then connect back panel three using cam locks. So screw this in. I'm just my damn screwdriver. This is not an easy job. But it's cool, I'm gonna get it. Cause you know your girl put together everything by herself. Anyway. Oh yeah, this is this is just too much. This is too much for me. And it's one o'clock in the morning, just to let y'all know this. Can you tell me why I'm down? Yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around. Yeah. Now I'm thinking of, now I'm thinking of.
the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suites on deposit, elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone, what numbers do I still have? Who do I know from the past? Hit one, she say she got a man. Hit another one, it goes green. Must have changed foes on the team. Remember when you let me in between? That was 2017. All good, chubs to look around. Find one to see my type. Damn, my dog, and he know what I like. He done found me plenty in my life. Problem is, I meet his girl tonight. Then I go and treat her too nice. Gallery of credit card swipes. I don't even know if she a wife. But I do know one thing, though. Women, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday. Monday through Sunday, yo. Maybe I'll love you one day. Maybe we'll someday grow. Till then, I sit my tongue. So I just got done building both of them. I am super excited about this. They look so good. I'm so mad that I can't put these in my living room. I did buy them for my bedroom, but these were on my wish list for my... For my living room um in my last apartment so obviously if i was to put one right here it'll be in this walkway and then the other one i would put at the end over there but it'll be in the way so these are bigger than i expected like i measured but i didn't like measure if that makes sense so these are super cute these are from amazon i will have them linked down in my amazon store from front i love that it's you know clear on the side i was thinking about doing mirror on the top like the reviews a lot of girls they were getting the marble ones or like doing diy marble there themselves but i was thinking maybe putting like going to lowe's and getting like the little you know cheap mirror and then just glue it on top of here and then put the mirror on there also i think that'll like level this up to make it kind of like more glitz and glam to kind of like match my bedroom vibe or I don't know, I'm gonna keep it white. You know, my um, dresser is white. So I'm gonna move these into my bedroom and we're gonna, whoop, I'm gonna move, these, move these into my bedroom and we're gonna move these old ones out. We the best music. music. Another one, yeah. DJ Khaled. Bitches calling my phone like I'm locked up non-stop. From the plane to the fucking helicopter, yeah. Cops pulling up like I'm giving drugs out, ah, nah, nah. I'm a pop star, not a doctor. Just calling my phone like I'm locked up non-stop. From the plane to the fucking helicopter. Right here, you'll see that I tried to fit this in. Did not fit. I did not have enough room, so I had to scoot my bed over which is a hassle if y'all watch my other vlog of me moving my whole bedroom set around. So we gotta go back to the drawing board and rearrange some stuff. So this is my problem. My remote control holder is on the wall, but I can't scoot it over any further because these are wider than what I originally had, which is right here. That's more slim, which I was looking for something slim, but I'm gonna try to take that off the wall and put it back. But that's from Sheehan. Oh, my manager with 20 hoes and Budokan. Hey, look. Ariana, Selena, my visa. It can take as many charges as it needs to, my girl. That shit platinum just like all of my releases, my girl. They just come for me, I tell you. This was a dollar, and it is stuck to the wall. Like, I can't get this off. And I'm not driving nothing. They should have a good word. Wonder how I got this. Just calling my 
Okay, so since my method of just trying to pull it off wasn't working, I decided to go get my blow dryer and try to blow dry it off with the heat. <laughs> it worked a little bit, then I went and got a butter knife and kind of was like peeling it off while still using the blow dryer. So that took about like two minutes and I just kind of removed as much as I could and then I did reapply it. Um, it still had a lot of stickiness on the back and then I also used a one command strip and just stuck it back on the wall. And the only way I can move my bed by myself is by putting all of my body weight and force <laughs> into pushing it. So I have to get down on the floor and kind of like, like I'm about to do um, banded. Anyways, I had to get on the floor <laughs> and literally pry my legs open to like scoot it over with all of my force. And then I kind of just push my back against the headboard and scoot it over. Then I got the freaking end table, nightstand, whatever you want to call it. Try to squeeze it back. You see the struggle. And if I would have had my bed flipped the other way, it would have worked perfectly because you see the window is right here. So it got about an inch, inch and a half of like that window seal right there in the way. And that's kind of the reason of it not really fitting too well. And plus this is a lot bigger than the one that I had previously. I don't really have anything to put on the other side unless my boyfriend want to put something over there but this is my bible and then my Jesus is calling devotional and then I just grabbed two to three other books that I do plan on reading and then the other one is the burn after writing I've had that for definitely about a year now um I got it not even halfway filled out. I got a majority filled out. So kind of like when I can't sleep, um, I do like to open this and kind of just write through there. So it's kind of like how real or truthful can you be with your with yourself while no one's watching. And it just asks you a whole bunch of questions. So these are my top three books. I love Sarah Dessen. She's a wonderful author. And then I got two books. And then I got another one. I don't know if this one is from Earl Sewell or where. The Shorty Like Mine. But I had another book by him called Have Mercy. Oh my gosh, y'all need to read that one. Comment down below any books that you're reading right now or that I should check out. I like motivational books and I like young adult books. So, yeah. Turned out really cute. I love these nightstands and tables that I made into a nightstand. Check out my Amazon storefront for the link. All right, so it is later in the day. It is the next day. Um, I think the last I recorded was yesterday in this vlog or actually like at like two in the morning. But I just got done with a lot. I've been vlogging another video today. So I'm kind of doing a two in one. <laughs> But for this video, this is the stuff that I wanted to show you guys. I got the Better Homes and Gardens brand, the White Square Euro Pillow. It is 26 inches by 26 inches. And yeah. So I looked for the Euro um, pillowcases, but I didn't find one that like matched my decor. So I'm probably just going to have to order a 26 by 26 one on Amazon. I've been trying to look for one, but I still haven't really found it. So tomorrow I'm off for the next two two to three days so i may go to like bed bath and beyond because you know they always got like a 20 percent off coupon and i may try at home but i know at home I'm probably gonna be busting heads and i'm not really trying to pay that much for a freaking you know just a freaking pillowcase so i may try bed bath and beyond i may look online first before i actually go in store but i got two of these so here's one hopefully they fit really good on my bed um here's the second one i kind of wanted to go for you know i'm working on my bedroom now i'm dedicating my bedroom to be the first room that i actually kind of like complete um to kind of make it you know really feel like home so i got my end tables i got my dream bed that i want i got my desk in here i got my um dresser lights up only thing really left that i need is like to jizz up my bedding and also to give me at least a 50 inch tv mounted on this wall so that's going to be my next task. And then I do want to put some type of pictures up there. Um, I don't know if I want to DIY my own art on a canvas or buy canvases that's already done. Or I am going to be doing a photo shoot at the end of the month for my um, 
hair company and one of my outfits I'm going to be like in an all black bodysuit or whatever so I was thinking of maybe like printing those pictures out and getting them blown up and put up there but I think really that's the last bit of actually finishing my bedroom now my closet is a different story but my bedroom I think once I do those three main things we're done and then we can like move on to the living room and I will have my dream bedroom okay so the next thing I got is these the amazing reusable rug grippers so they're the ruggies ruggies brand keeps the rug and mat in place or whatever so it comes with four and then it says it's work for hardwood tile and tech grip da, 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 just wash with water soap and water to renew the grippers so this is what i got from walmart um i got it from my rug right now that prince is on because when prince and oreo be in here at the same time and they be running back and forth then they be moving my rug and my rug would be literally damn near in my closet and that it is nothing else that annoys me as much as that like get off my rug moving it <laughs> but i got a pack of four of those and then the other thing that i got that's behind me that you may can't see because of the ring light i got this in a queen size it's just a 1.5 memory foam mattress topper my boyfriend has a mattress topper but i think he paid like a hundred and like fifty dollars for his this one is the walmart brand obviously the mainstays and i got the 1.5 because i feel like i feel like it'll be okay for me like i didn't need the two inch or 2.5 or whatever i'm gonna rock out with the one inch i did open the box already in the store to kind of get a feel of how it feels and honestly it doesn't feel too bad i think this was like 34 dollars 35 dollars so not bad and like just doing this in the store it actually felt pretty good so i'm excited to try this if it don't feel good then i kept my receipt i can just take it back you know not a big deal but yeah i got this one i'm excited to try this because his bed feels amazing like you literally just sink down into it which i guess he has i believe his is like two inches so if i did want to just sink down into the bed then obviously but i just want a little bit more comfortable sleep i think because i've been sleeping on this mattress for when did i get this when i was still with my in my parents house when i moved back in them moved back in with them for nursing school um I think I had this mattress since like 20, either the end of 2019 or the beginning of 2020. I want to say the end of 2019. So that's, that's a few years, a few years. And I just feel like it's not comfortable anymore. Like I want a new mattress, but instead of buying a whole new mattress, that's like five, six hundred dollars I just decided to get a mattress topper. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> that's gonna save me some money so i hope this feels good laying on as good as it feel like touching it because baby you can't be like 34 dollars, okay and it says pressure relief for all sleep styles back sleepers side sleepers and stomach sleepers and i literally sleep all three ways so i'm excited about that i'm gonna take my bedding off actually i'm gonna put these rug grippers down first so my stuff can stop sliding around all right i need to put on my glasses for this okay all right directions place carpet or throw a rug in desired place on floor check Pull back the corner of the area of the carpet of the throw. Okay. Remove the protective backing from one. Which one is labeled number one? One backing from one of the ruggies. Okay, rug grippers. Adhere smooth surface directly to the underside. Adhere smooth surface directly to the underside of the carpet. Place corner of the carpet or throw a rug back in place.
Okay, so this day it may take 12 to 48 hours for the mattress topper to fully recover to size. Place cover over the topper and bring the corners down over the mattress. Your new mattress topper looks comfortable. Oh yeah, this definitely is gonna have to. I should have took this out when I first got home. So mad I sloppy quick but this is the vision that I'm going for obviously I will have pillow covers over those two pillows that I just bought but I think I like them um, I need to get king pillows for these black ones because those are king pillowcases but I have queen pillows in them um, now that I'm looking at it I am going to get white pillowcases since those are black because I was going to get black pillowcases. I think I'm going to keep those white. So I'm going to buy a white pillowcase to kind of make that look a little bit better. But yeah, that's the bed. And I got the mattress topper on. You can kind of see the zigzag lines. It's probably not going to be fully ready until tomorrow since it's set up to 12 to 48 hours and i only got the one inch so yeah it looks good i like it i like my little nightstand or whatever i figured out what i'm supposed to do with these my stupid tail 
these go like I have this one on so that one's stuck this one they're coming off because this piece goes right here on there to stick I've lost it <laughs> so I'm gonna finish doing that on the rest of them but I'm liking my little end table my nightstand whatever you want to call it and then I got one on this side cute now all I gotta do is buy some longer curtains and then I'm gonna put this curtain over here and take that sheet down and stop looking ghetto up in here but yeah then I need to give me a TV and I think I will be done I gotta put some pictures up there so yeah that's what I'm gonna do tonight it's um 11 I'm about to take my sleeping pill and then tomorrow we're gonna get up and take out all of these boxes because this is ridiculous right here I'm making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you. I'm only you. Yeah. I got one virtual, got one in that day. the only two. Man, how many times have I shown and proved? Man, how many nights I've been woke? Swerving the potholes. Not trying to fuck up the wheels on the road. Okay. Funny how life goes. He thought he was sick. Now we wiping his nose. Change today, the liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain. Away.